Hey guys, it's Bennett. I'm back with um, the first part of that big PSA submission that um, that I've been teasing over the last few videos. This is my first time on since uh, since the fourth, so I hope everybody had a lovely um, holiday weekend, a well, happy Fourth of July. I hope you got to see some cool fireworks and spend time with friends and family like I did. Uh, the submission is pretty big. It's uh, it's a hundred plus cards, so um, I'm gonna break them up basically by the way that PSA sent them back to me in these little mini boxes. So that's how the uh, videos are gonna come out. So we're gonna give this an a rip. We're gonna cut the tape, get into the box, and see how we did. These are all blind to me. Um, so I am going to see them as you see them, as always. I hope we did well. There are some uh, pretty big cards in this submission. I'm not sure if this box per se but certainly in the submission at large, has some pretty large cards in it, so I'm hoping we did all right. As always, I'm expecting some weird stuff from PSA. There's always gonna be one or two really strange grades. Anybody who's watched my videos before knows how I feel about PSA, and I really have been switching over to more dealing in raw cards, especially from the selling point of view. I've been selling a lot more raw. Um, if you haven't yet, please check out my eBay store at BDP Sports Cards and uh, feel free to subscribe, like the video, watch some of the other videos, share it with one of your buddies if you see something that you think is cool and uh, drop me a comment, let me know how you're doing. All right, let's get into it. We start off with a DK Metcalf. This is a Black Pandora downtown, number to 25. As you can see, it's seven to 25. Cool story about this and there's another uh, DK Metcalf downtown came out of the same group of blasters, a case break of blasters that um, that I got into, and I got randomized the Seahawks and got two DK Metcalf downtowns out of one case of blasters, which is just insanity. Anyway, this one got a nine. All right, got a nine. Ten obviously be better. Isn't that a cool card? I love the Black Pandoras, and I like. The artwork on the downtowns, no matter what I might think of Panini and some of the work they do sometimes, the um, really the uh, the work on the downtowns is pretty cool. Anyway, we'll go like that. Next one, Jack Hughes. There you go. That's an autograph out of 2020 out of seven. These black diamonds, sometimes the edges, the corners. It's four out of 25. It's a Jack Hughes auto. I'm not a big hockey guy, but obviously I'm not thrilled with getting a seven. So put that down. Uh, next one up is a Shohei. This is a gold number to 10. And this is out of Spectra. This is out of 21 Spectra. And this one got, <laughs> and here we go. Here we go, PSA. Me and you on the warpath again. It got a six. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, that is not a nine where they printed the label upside down and encased the card upside down. It's in fact a six that they gave to a pack fresh card with no obvious issues, be it surface or corner edge damage. I don't know. I mean, these cards, again, they're thick stock, so you know, you get a nine sometimes get an eight, but here we have a six, which makes absolutely no sense, renders the card worthless, which means it comes out of the case and I have paid to grade it for no reason. We'll put that one down. Actually, you know what? Let's throw that one back in the box since we're gonna rip that one out anyway. We don't even wanna look at that. Okay, next up, let's shake it off. This is an Evan Mobley, uh, seven out of 10 out of Obsidian. This is a rookie, which got an eight. Oh, Panini. I mean Panini. Uh, PSA. They're pretty much one and the same, right? They work hand in glove. Anyway, there's an Evan Mobley Supernova, which in a 9 or 10 would have been a, a really, really sweet card. It's an 8. It is what it is. I think Mobley's a little bit underrated, you know, compared to the rest of that rookie class. I think he had a great uh, first couple of years in the league. And um, I think at, when it all shakes out in the end, I think uh, I think he's going to be really, he's going to remain near the top of that class. This is Rafina. This was a copper um, out of uh, Prison Premier League, number 25 out of 25, last on the print, which got a nine. All right, our bronze, sorry, it's a bronze, not a copper. All right, it's a nine. 
I'm not a big soccer guy. This will be going up online. We'll see if anybody's interested in that. Anybody bites? Um, here's Trout out of Finest. This is out of 14 Finest, which got a 9. All right. Again, service on these cards makes 10s tough. That's uh, why if you look at his uh, his rookie auto out of Finest, in a 10 is worth a fortune. Cause just because the grade on them is really, really tough. And obviously, any any really any numbered cards from the early 90s, you know, they're, they're very, very sought after. Anyway, there's a 94 Trout. Here we have Bobby Witt. Um, huh. I wonder why, you know, this went in a little while ago. Witt obviously hasn't been having the kind of season, but that's out of, uh, that's out of Brooklyn. It's number 75. Hopefully Bobby Witt comes back on and, you know, somebody would be interested in this, but uh, his season's been a little rough, to say the least. Anyway, there's a Bobby Witt uh, Brooklyn collection at a 75 that got a 9. So far, we're not doing great. I don't remember, um, have we gotten a 10 yet? I don't even know if we've gotten a 10 yet. Anyway, uh, let's keep going on. This is a Randy Johnson autograph out of uh, Brooklyn. I uh, love these autographs. Anybody, again, who's watched my channel knows how much I love these autographs that got... A nine, there's another nine, that's at a 30. Um, huh, anyway, there's uh, Randy Johnson. Next up is a Kenny Pickett. Um, this is out of Elements. And this got a four. A four? Come on. That's the coating peeling there on the bottom, which obviously wasn't like that when I sent it in, but I can't imagine that would that dramatically impact the grade on this card. I don't, <laughs> I just don't understand. I mean, the card is made of metal, you know, barring any like ridiculous, like somebody taking a knife to it and scratching it up. You're not dealing with corner or edge wear on these cards. I just don't, you know, they'll give these cards eights a lot, but a four, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I just, I'm at a loss. Somebody explain it to me. Obviously, like I said, that damage there is the sticker, is the protective cover on the front of the card, which obviously Panini, um, I keep calling PSA Panini, which obviously PSA did getting it into the holder. But I, don't know, I guess we'll just toss that in with the Otani and crack it out and deal with it. Anyway, let's move on. God, I'll tell you what, folks, if this whole entire submission is like this, <laughs> you're going to you're going to hear me get increasingly frustrated when we get into parts 2, 3, 4, 5 and beyond because if this is what this looks like and this is what PSA is all about now then well I think that might be that might finally signal the uh the death knell the the ring the bell and that might be it for me in PSA cuz I've had just about enough of this nonsense. Anyway, here's a Lewis Hamilton at a 99 got a 6. <laughs> I don't understand. This is out of Sapphire. This is out of Topps Chrome Sapphire. It's an Aqua out of 22. I mean, this wouldn't be that much, that valuable a card anyway, but a six. I, I just don't. Take a look at it, guys. Do you see why it's a six? Do you see what makes this a six? All I can hope is that PSA somehow bundled all of the, all of the, like the crappy grades into one box for me so we would get it out of the way and then I got a bunch of tens and nines and like super tens because if they give my cards fours and sixes don't you think they should give some of them 11s and 12s you know like spinal tap like every now and again give my card an 11 and just be like I'll have a pop one this card's an 11 look at this Otani autograph it's an 11 it's worth 20 billion dollars they don't do that. We'll throw that in the box with Kenny and Shohei. Sorry, guys. You're going in there with Lewis. You're all very good. I mean, well, Kenny, we don't know what you're going to be. But anyway, um, in keeping with F1, here is Sergio Perez. This is at a 25, which got a 9. Okay. Okay. I don't know. It's hard to even get, you know, I don't know how I feel about any of this. Here's a J-Rod out of Brooklyn, um, which we'll just forget the suspense. That's a base, got a nine, the way he's playing. Market has dropped out of his cards. The bottom has dropped out of the market, his cards, I should say. J-Rod's cards aren't worth 
20% of what they were six months ago. Um, so this, which made sense to send into PSA at the time, would have made no sense now, and it has no real value. Hopefully he picks it back up again. I think he's a great player. I think he's got a lot of talent, so we'll see, but he's really struggled this year. Here's another Brooklyn autograph. This is Donnie Baseball, which got a nine again at a 99. It's a cool card, got a nine. Um, I don't know, I don't have much to say about it. As you can hear, I'm a bit disheartened. And here we go, Kenny Pickett again. This is a Kenny Pickett autograph. Uh, this is Pen Pals out of Elite. If this got lower than like a nine, I'm gonna lose my mind. This card, I'm telling you, I looked this card over with a loop. I looked this card over a bunch of times. This card was absolutely perfect. It should 10, but this is PSA, so God knows. But it better get at least a nine or else I'm going down there. All right, well, there's a nine. Anyway, so there's a Kenny Pickett autograph. These Pen Pal autographs are all on card. I love those. Um, there is a difference. I don't care what anybody tells you between on card autos and sticker autos. Um, anybody who tells you otherwise is lying to you. They just, sticker autos don't hold the same kind of value. On card autos mean that the player has handled that card and signed it. Um, uh, you know, it's just, there's just a, there's a difference for it for collectors, there's a difference for it in reality. So I always look for on-card autos, and uh, it's one of the reasons I like Elite. Anyway, there's my Kenny Pickett rookie auto. Hopefully he has a good season this year, and this card increases in value. I'll go ahead and crack those three out of their holders, and um, I don't know, try to figure out something else to do with them. And uh, that's it for this part one of the submission. Please, guys, if you like the uh, video, please hit the uh, thumbs up button. Frankly, if you hate PSA, please hit the thumbs up button. This thing should get a million likes. Share this with your friends. Uh, show them what PSA is doing to me, <laughs> what they're doing to all of us. And uh, that's it. Till next time.